Yo, big news in the sim racing community, guys. A set of course of competition is going to be coming to console, and you're going to be able to play it on PS4, Xbox One, as well as PC. And I, for one, I'm very excited, and I just wanted to talk about what this means for a set of course of competition and give my first thoughts and my opinion on the game. So let's get stuck into this video. So we're set of course of competition and coming to console and I for one I did not see this coming, not on this current gen of uh, consoles and I'll be honest, I, when I first heard the news yesterday, which was my birthday by the way, so yeah, I, I'll take all the I'll take all the uh, the, the uh, conglomerates from that, but um, yeah, I was totally surprised um, and I just didn't think we'd see it on this gen of console because a set of course like, it runs so high, it takes so much power. From even the PC struggles to run a set of course if you haven't really got a a real decent PC but um yeah totally surprised you'll see it there 23rd of June I believe a set of course of competition a gonna be coming to console and if you pre-order it you get the international GT pack free and I cannot recommend that enough the, the international GT pack for me has sort of transcended the game on PC it was kind of getting to a stage where people were getting bored of the tracks but with Bathurst, um, Laguna Seca, and my favorite track, Kiel Army, plus obviously Suzuka. Honestly, them four tracks, amazing additions. But for me personally, Kiel Army is just an insane track for racing. One of the best tracks I think I've driven on in in ages, a great track. So um, I recommend if you're on the console, um, just download, download, um, download the game. Just make sure you get it pre-ordered, I'm telling you. You will not regret it um, right now for me it is the best racing game out there you can get at the moment um, and yeah just super happy for it to be coming to console obviously that means a lot more attention to the game and obviously that's that's good for me that's good for everybody else it's just good for the sim racing community in total and also um, another thing we're going to be getting GT4s we're going to be getting the British GT pack which obviously is going to bring three new tracks to the game which will be Alton Park Donington and Snetterton which I believe because I think we have all the other British tracks on the game already that's um, in that calendar so uh, yeah it's gonna be amazing I can finally continue my love-hate relationship with uh, Snetterton a track that I've never liked but I've always been pretty fast at so yeah it's gonna be very interesting man and I think it opens up a whole new field for a set of course of competition obviously we can have these big grid races where we can have up to a hundred cars on the grid and now we can sort of have it you know two different classes it's just going to be amazing amazing for the endurance races obviously if you've been tuning into just whether you've been tuning on twitch to mr git or to jardia or redline racing you've seen that people are doing crazy races nine hour races um three hour races and honestly the game is just really taking off at the moment so to see it going to console so all all you guys who are not on pc can start to enjoy it as well is definitely a good thing my only sort of question will be is just how the hell is the game going to run how is this game going to run on the ps4 and the xbox and i wonder how much they're going to have to actually dumb the game down to get it to run um smoothly that's going to be the big question mark um i'm actually thinking about actually getting on my ps4 pro because i do have a ps4 still and um, i'm thinking about getting it and seeing how it runs maybe doing some comparisons between the pc and the console version and seeing how much they're actually going to have to dumb the game down to sort of get the game to run smoothly because i'm guaranteed there's, there's going to be uh i think there's going to be sacrifice also i want to see how much um how big the grids are on console how much they're going to be able to run is it going to be sort of the same old sort of 16 cars that we saw on p cars it really was a struggle but um yeah let's see man because hopefully they can at least if if on, on console if you can get grids of sort of like 40 or so i think that'll be even a, a a big step forward i know console struggles to run a lot of cars on the track but um yeah it's definitely definitely something that's needed because it is really part of the fabric of the endurance racing is having loads of cars around you on track and yeah that's what makes it so great when you're playing and you're you're sort of in a race and you're the same pace as like seven or eight guys and they're all around each other you're fighting and scrapping and you might not even be in inside the top 10 but you really have to fight and scrap on this game that's what i love about it and um 
yeah trust me if you're on the console and you are looking for a game to play a sim racing game to play do not hesitate to pre-order this game i'm telling you you will regret it try and get there early try and um get on the game early that's that's the best thing because there is quite a lot to learn when you get on a set of course of competition it's it's not it's not as easy as it looks in terms of racing um it's actually quite difficult to race wheel to wheel it's very hard to just overtake people at will if you're faster than someone if they know how to defend you can literally be stuck behind someone for a whole entire race so um it's definitely a level up to any sim racing game that's out there at the moment i personally think um yeah the game's just it's just quality so it's going to be very interesting man very interesting and i hope you guys on the console understand how good this game is man i really do but you have to give kunos a lot of credit man they really are pulling out all the stops with this game they're giving us a lot of the stuff that we really wanted and um I have to admit, when the game first came out, I wasn't sure whether we would get quite uh, quite as much DLC as we're being told that we're getting. And yeah, to get the British GT pack, so we can now do British GT championships, we can do GT4 championships, we can do mixed grids. Um, obviously on PC, we can have these massive size grids of like 100 drivers and whatnot. So um, it's going to be absolutely insane, insane. Apparently, we're going to be getting a, a ton of new liveries, um, some sort of new features in the game which i'm looking forward to and you know when does it stop do we start thinking towards getting the american gt pack because if you see the actual direction this game's going you see we've already got sort of the uh european gt plus the british gt's coming i'm pretty sure um that they're going to be looking into maybe the american gt and if they get um the asia gt challenge as well that's just a ton of new tracks for the game and man it's just going to be taken off and I don't see the, the, the growth of the game stopping anytime soon because we're seeing so many people come over from iRacing recently and just all other games and people are starting to get more and more interested in this game now and as I said the racing is great it's very um it just feels so authentic when you play this game it doesn't really feel like anything else and just the, the different characteristics of the cars you actually feel you know you feel the personality of the car whenever you change car and you jump from one car to another there's there's literally just nothing the same from one car to the other it just there's nothing the same so um really each car does have its own personality you can tell they've worked um a lot on that on that side of things but um it looks great it sounds great and honestly man it's it's just amazing to be on the acc right now but as i said i'll be getting it on the console so i can just see the differences and i can compare where maybe they've dumbed down or tweaked a few things to make it fit on the console i honestly thought this game would be coming to next gen but man but for a game of this quality and it's only priced at 34.99 um in the uk which is about 39.99 dollars or euros so um yeah insane price plus the pre-order you get the intercontinental gt pack for free man you cannot go wrong with getting this game guys you absolutely cannot go wrong and yeah um the future's looking bright for a settlement and I wonder if uh, I wonder if they're going to be doing sort of you know any joint esports events that will coincide with PC consoles um, and maybe winners from each event will maybe do some sort of main event or something like that. That would be pretty cool. But anyway, it's Cryptic TMD. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to catch my videos first. And peace.